For me, September 11th, I, I was in a test session in South Carolina, just doing some brake testing with one of my old race teams. And after our first run, I went into the lounge, just like this trailer here, to grab a, a water. And when I turned the TV on, I thought it was some what if style TV show of if this happened. I was in third grade at Bayshore Elementary. Mr. Herrera was my teacher. Um, I remember he, he got a phone call and that's normal. Uh, everybody has landlines in classrooms and normally he's talking and he didn't say anything and thinking back to it, I remember all of it. And he just said, everybody put your pencils down and he turned the TV on and we watched for about 30 seconds. And I'm watching all of this unfold and I'm like, guys, everybody's gotta get in here, check this out. I don't know what's going on. I was freaked out. Everybody was freaked out. And we were then told, literally, we've gotta get back home. Both towers were smoking then. Um, like I just remember that, that image. Um, and then we weren't allowed to watch anything else. Um, we were supposed to, he was trying to get us to go back to, to work, but then they end up letting us all out of school. So um, my dad came and got me. Um, President Bush was right up the road in Tampa, maybe, just a few hours north. September 11th, it's always been a symbolic day to stop, reflect, and understand the attacks that went on and all the first responders that we lost. To know how many Americans it's affected throughout this two decades now it's it's unbelievable and the way that we can stop and just say you know what we need to reflect and honor this day we have that ability now to to shine a bright light on it and to remember it and use our platform to to remember the lives lost and the lives given i'm proud to still be out here racing on the nascar circuit because i'll be able to see everything from the Richmond crowd and the Richmond racetrack and to see all of us Americans together in one spot. During the race, I won't know what's going on, um, but I know now and I'll know after. And um, you know, that, that's what means the most.